Hey what's up this is Santosh Shetty here. So uh, in today's video we are going to create a responsive Facebook cover for your business page or for your personal page. I had created a video last year on this as well and uh, I started getting a lot of comments that it's not uh, looking the same. So I checked myself and then I realized Facebook has changed their Facebook uh, interface again. And because of that what is happening is whatever uh, Facebook cover that you have set on your uh, business page uh, on your pc and laptop or everywhere else it might look fine but as soon as you check the same page on your cell phone it looks completely different okay it used to look different one year ago when i had created that previous video of mine and uh, now it looks totally different so i thought i'll create uh, redo a tutorial video on how facebook cover uh, image looks now how to make it responsive now in the year 2023 all right So let's do that. You can check it yourself. Just look at uh, how your uh, Facebook page looks, Facebook cover image looks on your PC or on your desktop, and how it looks on a tab or how it looks on a phone. They are they are different. It may not fit pro- uh, correctly. So if you have important information like text information which is there on your cover image, it may not display correctly on a cell phone. So fix all of this uh, in this video. I am going to show you how to do it correctly. How to create a Facebook cover image correctly. the method the method that i'm going to follow is going to be pretty much the same what i did a year ago uh, just that the interface uh, the placement of certain things on the image will be different on the facebook cover image will be different okay i'm going to create a facebook cover image for my own business page and uh, you can follow exactly what i do and do it for your business page as well and that will make sure that your facebook cover image is responsive if you're not done this already make sure you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any uh, uh, videos or tutorials in the future i create content around uh, designing marketing and entrepreneurship mostly on how to build a successful uh, business online using uncomplicated designing and uh, marketing all right so hit the subscribe button and then uh, let's go to the dashboard All right, welcome to the home dashboard of uh, Canva. Canva is the tool that I use for my business for any kind of designs that I want to make. Uh because it saves a lot of my time and uh, also money, all right? And they also have ready-made templates on uh, Facebook uh, cover which I can use. I can just get inspired from a uh, looking at uh, any of the Facebook cover images that are there and uh, start my designs from there, okay? So I'll do that uh, right now. I'll show you how to create it. and if you are interested in uh, learning canva not just learning canva if you are interested in mastering canva i have a full fledged canva course that i have created you will find that link uh, in the description okay so check that out now when uh, see this is how the facebook uh, cover image looks right now this is my uh, facebook page if you see the image is over here this is over here this is over here there is there is no problem over here it looks fine okay the problem is when it moves to a different device if i have to show you this is how it looks when you are uh, logged in to facebook this is how it looks when you are not logged in but you're going to the link uh, directly okay on uh, facebook this here also it looks absolutely fine now if i go to um, let me show you my phone Okay this is this is my phone okay so if i am not uh, this is the browser in my phone i am using chrome browser so through the chrome browser if i go to facebook this is how it looks if you notice it's the same facebook cover image but the problem here is it's uh, my image is enlarged uh, this is how responsiveness works in facebook so your profile image is a little enlarged and my facebook cover is uh, Uh, become a little smaller because of which it is covering this area of the text and this area of the text which is a problem right because a lot of people are on uh, cell phone nowadays and uh, if this is not visible it it doesn't look professional at all all right this i created like last year and it was working fine till they changed the way the facebook interface works now it's become like this so i have to fix this okay i'm going to do that right now now this is how it looks on a, a browser what you're seeing on the screen and this is how it looks on your once you're signed in and uh, or in your facebook app if you have installed app 
I've taken a screenshot of this from another phone because I'm not able to show it to show my app directly on uh, Windows Connect here because uh, it doesn't let you because of Facebook security features you can't take any screenshots and you can't show your app on Windows Connect. So uh, I've taken a, a picture of it and this is how your Facebook uh, cover image looks in your uh, cell phone. Not good, right? It covers this part of it. Okay. But the only thing, uh, the only interesting part is, if you notice, this area is always visible, this much, okay? And this area is always visible. If you make sure that your, the important information on your Facebook cover is somewhere over here, uh, or somewhere over here, then you are fine in all devices, okay? So that is what we'll do right now with Canva. Okay? We'll create a Facebook page in such a way that even with the responsiveness Facebook has, the most important part of your content is visible. Okay, that's what we'll do. So let's go to Canva. Here, no problem. Okay, let's go to Canva and we'll go to Facebook. There are a couple of things that you need to uh, know here before you find the template. The Facebook cover image, that's the most important part. If you go to Facebook page, the uh, Facebook help site, this is the cover image they suggest, okay? All right, so here we are. This is the Facebook help page. And if you notice here, it says displays at 176 by 176 on, on your page on computer, 196 by one displays at that, okay? So anything which, if you maintain this aspect ratio, one is to one, I usually use 500 into 500 pixels for my profile image. It looks fine across devices. Now, when it comes to a Facebook uh, cover photo, it says must be at least 400 pixels wide and 150 pixels tall. Okay, I'll not go with that. And then it says 851 pixels wide and 315 pixels tall and less than 100 KB. Okay, so this is a ideal image. Uh, so this is the ideal image size. Okay, if you maintain this aspect ratio, then you shouldn't be having a problem. If you do it at 851, 315, nothing like it. Okay, so we'll do we'll do that now. Let's go to Canva. And in Canva, if I go to templates, and look for Facebook templates, Facebook cover. Now, these are the templates that you're seeing. Now, these templates are good. It will look uh, fine in your uh, Facebook cover. But the problem is, when you're checking this template on a uh, cell phone it's going to it, it's not going to fit you might lose out on important information so uh, what we will do now is we will go to create a design okay and create a custom design and width and height so the width is 851 height is 315 right so we'll go over here 851 315 create a new design Okay, this is how it is. Let me uh, pick up the content from my previous Facebook cover uh, design that I had. Okay, let me go there. So these are the different variations of Facebook covers I had done. So this is the one that I'm using. So I don't want to use all of these. What I'll do is I'll just select this copy. paste over here courses podcast tutorials resources community okay this is enough and let me just duplicate this says uncomplicated designing I, I won't use that I would like my logo to be there so my logo will be somewhere over here let me change the background photos Something like this. Change this to 
white reduce the size of this logo reduce this as well okay add one uh, graphic element i'm going to add my logo which is this one maybe this much and reduce the transparency like that all right Okay, I was thinking of adding my picture, but I am not going to do it because this already has my picture, right? So I am not going to use a picture, but yeah, I might use a line over here. So this same line, I am going to copy. And I can do that, okay? Now let's see how this fits, okay? I am not sure, I have to test it out now. I'm going to click okay I would also like to add my web address which is www.reduce the size to maybe 6 See, I, I'm not going to keep this over here because if I do that, it won't be visible on cell phones. So I'm going to keep it over here. I can also do this. Is it 90 degrees? Yeah, I will make all of these uppercase. Maybe do it at 7. Increase letter spacing like this. All right, so I've added my website over here. Looks okay so far. Maybe move it a little this side. Okay. Should I keep the logo? I can do that. Let's see. first we'll test this out. Okay. I'm going to download this as a JPEG. 51, 315. I just want one of the pages. This one done. Download. Okay. Go to my business page. All right. The image is done. Now you have to test it. All right. You can. It will look fine in uh, your regular PCs and monitor and all. But cell phone is the thing. Okay. Now we'll test the cover image which we just created and see how it looks on a PC. All right, so I'm going to upload the photo. Okay, this is how it looks right now. Looks okay. Fits fine, no problem. So I'm going to save. For now, I'm going to save changes. And then I'm going to check how it's going to look on my phone. If you're wondering how am I doing this, how am I uh, mirroring my phone on PC, there is a video that I had created on that, on how to mirror uh, an Android uh, uh, dis phone display on a Windows PC, okay? There is a video on that. I'll leave the video in the description and also on the top right above me. So here, so I have uploaded that. I'm going to refresh this page. And let's see how it fits, okay? You see that? Now, this community part, you know, there's a little 
it's gone to the extreme corner and uh, there is no gap over here okay so it's making it look a little it's okay but i am not happy with it so i'm going to change this i'm going to move this a little to the left and uh, even the line i'm going to move it a little to the left and see how that goes go back to my canva move this a little to the left like that this one maybe like that okay so the last picture i download as jpeg and what i have noticed it what noticed is if i go to the facebook cover again where is it okay this is one see it's not my logo is not very clear right it's a little uh, i wouldn't say pixelated it's not very clear so what i'm going to do now is i'll download it as a png okay png will keep the quality of the file and we'll see how that goes so we'll download this as a png file download png okay and download. now let me take you to the facebook page while it's downloading it's done see here it says loads fastest fastest as a srgb jpeg file that's 851 315 tall and less than 100 kb this is to make your facebook page load faster but now internet has become so fast it doesn't matter that much it's just uh, difference might be in milliseconds okay it also says for profile pictures and cover photos with your logo or text you may get a better better result by using using a png file so that's what we did now we download it as a png to keep the quality better than uh, a jpeg it also says the left hand side of your cover photo will be partially covered by your profile picture and may be uh cropped and resized to fit in different screen this is a problem that we are trying to fix all right so we'll go back and i'm going to upload this png now you see the size difference here it says 210 and here it says 30.6 big difference so i'll select this png click on open looks okay save so i'm going to go back to my phone over here and see how it looks now okay see this right so i'm going to refresh it fixed There's a nice little gap over here. Everything looks neat now. Now, doesn't matter which device I go to, my uh, Facebook cover image will look like it is responsive. It's going along with the responsiveness of uh, the Facebook interface itself. So all the important text is on the right hand side. My logo is right on the top. I'm not putting my image in the cover because my image anyway shows up in. Uh, my uh, profile right so i'm not going to do that i did it earlier but this time i'll not do it and uh, left hand side i'll not play around with left hand side because after you log in right uh, your cover image your profile image will go to the left let me also show that to you so this is how it was earlier and after we fixed this is how it looks now neat right the logo is there i can still play around with the logo i can get the logo a little over here to make it Uh, look like it's in the center i can move the logo here if i am not happy so this is how you make sure that your facebook cover image is responsive with the facebook interface in 2023 and this interface is going to change again there is no stopping all uh, web apps and softwares they keep changing the interface keeps changing so whenever that change happens i will uh, do another video uh, for now i am thinking facebook may not change it because this is a big change they did last year uh, the entire facebook interface changed so i am hoping they won't change it very soon and whatever i have created right now is a work around for the problem that you will have with your uh, facebook cover image being responsive all right so try this out and uh, let me know how it goes and whether this uh, helped you from time to time facebook not just facebook everybody all these uh, social media platforms and even website software they all make uh, <coughs> keep making changes 
and uh, change user interface. They are looking to uh, make their apps better, but for people like us, for marketers, for online business uh, entrepreneurs, for them it can be a hassle because a lot of thought and planning has gone into creating uh, posts, images, and suddenly it looks different because the interface changed. So this is the method. This is a workaround. It is not a permanent fix because the interface is going to change again and again. We'll have to, you know, uh, play around to get uh, make it fit. So this is a methodology that you can use. I showed you the entire process of how I uh, think and uh, how I uh, made sure that my Facebook cover image is responsive with the Facebook interface as of 2023. All right. So try that out and uh, let me know uh, how it went and whether you will, you were able to create a great looking Facebook uh, cover image. All right. You can you can also. Uh, uh, share it in my uh, private Facebook group. It is called facebook.com slash group slash design clans. That is my, uh, that is a link. Go there, send an invite request. You can be part of my community and you can share your Facebook cover image uh, link over there so that I can have a look at it and see how it went for you. Okay. And uh, most important, if you found value out of this uh, video, make sure you hit the like button and share it with somebody uh, who would need this and who would, uh, uh, who has a business page and uh, who's who is not even aware probably that this happens when you check it in different devices share it with them hit the like button and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any uh, future videos that i upload all right so that's about it this is uh, santosh here thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day Bye.